Welcome back. Covering your community, the Boys and Girls Clubs of Palm Beach County is committed to not only providing a lot of programming for kids, but also teaching them about different career fields and getting them set up for success. So joining me here today is Jeannie Miranda, president of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Palm Beach County, and Jeremiah, a club member who actually received an internship through the Boys and Girls Clubs internship program. First, thank you so much for being here. Congratulations on your internship. It was last summer, right? Yes, ma'am. Where did you intern? I interned at SWA Solid Waste Authority. And what kind of things would you do there? Basically, it was a big, broad aspect of stuff, but it could really be put underneath the environmental part of engineering, just working with the environment and stuff like that. Which is awesome because you want to be an engineer, right? Yes, a civil engineer. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So would you mind telling me just quickly a little bit about the internship program? I, I heard it was a big success last year. Yeah, well, and we'll start with um, just sharing a little bit about the Boys and Girls Clubs because, you know, we go where we're needed most and we provide outcome driven club experiences to provide three priority outcomes or actually four priority outcomes. Um, good character and citizenship, um, healthy lifestyles, and of course academic success. But workforce readiness is the fourth and probably the most critical because we want to prepare for the, the kids for what's next in life. So internships is just an automatic, right? Um, for most of us who had the opportunity to do internships, it really influenced maybe career choices um, that we made in the future, our, even our college choices at first. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's a very important program for us and uh, teaching the kids all the soft skills that they need in order to prepare for those inter internships is really our mission. It's really getting them ready to walk in through those doors. Yeah, and Jeremiah, you're a freshman at Palm Beach State right now, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so, I mean, having this kind of opportunity so early on in your college career, what was that like? It was actually really, like, just... It was overwhelming at first, kind right. of, because it was like going to a new place and meeting a lot of new people and learning so much at once. But overall, I was happy that I was able to take the opportunity and learn so much and gain experience. Yeah, and it kind of gives you a little bit of an edge over some of your classmates, I'm yeah. sure. Kind of prepares you a little bit more, not just for your studies, but the real world as well. And you were yes. so dedicated. You live out in Belle Glade, right? So you'd have to yes, take sometimes two buses to mm -hmm. get to the Solid Waste Authority? Yes, ma'am. Did you, what other kind of skills did you learn? Obviously, determination was a big part of your journey. Um, I learned a lot of things. One thing I could say I liked learning about the most was the landfills, because the process behind it is so much more than people think. It's not just dumping trash. You have to take so much into calculation, and like it's so many regulations that go with it. So it was a really nice thing to learn about. Yeah, a lot goes into things that you and I wouldn't normally think about, yeah. right? Well, Jeremiah, future civil engineer, and Janie with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Palm Beach County, thank you both so much for being here. We have a lot more information about all of the programs from the Boys and Girls Clubs on our website, as well as the internship program with several different partners, including the Solid Waste Authority.